Why hello everybody and welcome to another adventure map. Today we are doing Roomscape 5, the final Roomscape of the series. Now this one does have several tutorials online. Uh, when I was searching to actually find the map, uh, it was actually one of the autocompletes. Um, so hopefully this one will be pretty challenging. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. That was a loud noise. Okay, so it looks like we are in a room with a combination of sorts. Do we press both every button two times? Is that all it's telling us? No, wait, the number changed. Okay, no. So if I had to guess, wood would be, if, if we're doing like durability kind of stuff, it's wood is the weakest, so let's make that the lowest number. Right? And then gold. Is gold weaker than wood, though? So let's try that. How many times does this go through? Does it go higher? Is, this, is it, like, counting the damage on a sword or what? Okay, so it just goes two, three, or five. So that didn't do anything for us. Is there anything in the room? Can we just go through this? Oh, that would be so embarrassing if we could. Um... Hmm. What if? See, maybe maybe it's like value of it, and I don't know. Then wouldn't that be three? I don't know. Okay, so apparently three two five is the winning combination for that. Uh, not sure how I was supposed to find that. I don't see three two five hidden anywhere. Ow. Okay, welcome to Roomscape by Care 2000. Solve the puzzle in each room to move to the next. Awesome, and I'm guessing we just... Yeah, that one was pretty easy. Okay, oh, what's under there? There's something under there. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so we have a chest. We have a stone pickaxe that can break redstone. And we have... Uh, sorry, we have a... Uh, uh, what looks to be... Just some, like, we need to press, we need to put redstone here to power this in order to get that to go. So, and check that chest. It's got, what does it say on it? Glowstone brick. And this one has can break block of redstone. Okay. Oh, there's redstone. Sweet. So, let's go ahead and, oh, okay, so that went in our inventory and can be placed on block of quartz. Perfect. Awesome. Next room. Okay, so because this is a 1.8 map, we obviously have the the addition of slime blocks. Now, let's go ahead and press both buttons. Okay, that fires an arrow. And that one, yep. Yeah, yeah, I figured that much. So, let's just go press the button. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just making sure. Um, so, what I'm thinking is we need to fire the arrow at the right time so that this if the arrow bounces off of this side and we'll hit that button. Wait, there's something here. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the button. Oh. Oh, too late. Too late. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm firing it too late. That was too early. Come on, this, we're getting close though. That one, that one, I was just thinking too much. <gasps> Come on. Look how close we were. And then it jumps back. Are you serious? <gasps> Come on. <gasps> Are you serious? Are these just like grouping together now? Can I, can I pick those up or something? No, it doesn't seem like it. Off. Ah. Off. Oh, come on. Oh, I got it. I got it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, this is a lot of arrows. And I got picked up an arrow. I don't think I'm supposed to have this, so. Oh, can we fire it out of the dispenser, please? Ow. Okay, we'll take it with us just in case we do need it. Okay, it looks like we have a redstone room. Uh, I'm guessing that lever right there opens the door, unless this one does. Nope, it opens that door. Okay. So there's obviously a series of levers we need to hit. So this powers this. If you don't know these uh, 
these uh, bedrock like textured things that means that signal can't come through it so no matter what I do signal won't come through it and that's because this is getting power here so nope that's not that what about this one okay so that turns that off we'll turn this one off oh oh and then we need to turn this one on no we need to turn this one on because see then the power comes through here huh a little bit lucky but that's okay let's go ahead and go through okay now we have an empty room break block of quartz Ooh, let's go get that redstone and that block of quartz then redstone nice and then block of quartz wait I didn't get the block of quartz uh oh why didn't I get the block of quartz? It didn't drop. We have fire charge. Well, maybe that's just part of the map. We'll just keep going, I guess. That, that's kind of weird, though. I'm guessing we fire this, because, obviously, fire charges, yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Oh, and we can't walk out. Cool. Um, can we reach that? Yeah, we can... Oh, wait, there's supposed to be gold somewhere. Wait, I can't click that. Oh, wait. Did I walk forward there? Okay, so... Oh, okay. Looks like we can just jump up. Oh, cool. Okay, so there is gold in this hopper. Now, let's go ahead and breed. Stand on this chest. Put gold in this chest. And look in this chest. Okay. So let's follow those instructions. Nice. And then... What'd that say? Can be placed a block of diamond. Nice. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and press this pressure plate. And I think we got to run over there. Ready? Uh oh. Apparently not. Try to get... Oh, oh, it moves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now what? Do we move on? Oh, oh okay, so this one has a lever now. Okay. So, I'm guessing this is this is called an RS no latch. If you did not know, um, what needs to happen is both of these torches need to be turned off, and then this torch will turn on. And I'm guessing open the door. Um, so clearly we need power here. So we'll run this power here. So that turns off that torch. Now we need something to place here. Um, is there anything? No. Let me go ahead and go check around all the chests and stuff, you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after looking around for a very long time for another solution, uh, I went ahead and looked it up. And basically, this was supposed to give me a quartz block when I mined the block back there. Remember when I had said, I, I don't know why I didn't get a block of quartz. I, I figured that maybe, you know, they, they made it so that you just wouldn't have a block of quartz and so you wouldn't cheat or something. But it turns out that they were, it was supposed to give you one. And uh, it was supposed to have a block of, const uh, uh, place on block of coal control constraint on it so um i went ahead and i ran the map like six more times to try to see if it would drop and it wouldn't uh every time i did it so what i ended up having to do and this is unfortunate is giving myself one uh it, it really really puts a downer on the map for me so let's go ahead and get back to it though uh this obviously has the pin blaze on black quartz and like i said uh when these two are together uh are off together and then this one turns on now we can go on in here now this looks like some sort of puzzle i would throw this in here but uh let's take a little bit more of a better look at it. okay so we got a pressure plate in the bottom of that one no pressure plate in that one and a pressure plate in that one okay so let's go ahead and break this glowstone just to be safe okay nothing good do I, is there is i don't want to get rid of this if this is the only one i get though so let's go ahead and look oh okay Paper, awesome. Okay, so now we got some paper. Um, I guess let's go ahead and try to get it into both of them. There's the first one. Now can we get the second one? Oh. See, my thought is, is that if we throw it in here, it'll boost it that way on the ice. Let's go ahead and see if that works. 
Oh, second try on that one. Oh, that's crazy. Awesome. So so now we, uh, we're we through. Okay. So there's a few extra pieces of glowstone. Can I break them? Okay, I can break that one. Oh, I can't break that one for some reason. Okay, no. Is, is there anything else around here? Wait, there's an invisible wall here. Just there, though. What if I jump up on the diamond block? Can I do that? Yeah. Oh, wait, there's another invisible wall here. Going that way, I can walk left. Can I walk right? Yeah, I can walk backwards. Yeah. Okay, so can I jump on that? Oh, I can. Okay. What if I do this? Okay. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what? Oh, I can break this now. Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear this out as we go up. There's a lot of glowstone to break. We got a lever that we can place on diamond box. Look, they're always on like weird. I don't know why they're on like sand, soul sand. Okay, and we gotta get back down now. If I can figure it out, there we go. And let's go ahead and place this guy here. Oh, oh, and we're in through the next room. Okay. So it seems like we have a crazy contraption here. Um, I guess we'll look in all this stuff. Oh, we got a sponge, sweet. And we got a raw fish and a rose red dye. Wait, what if we put the sponge in here and fire it? Ow! Oh, it ended up in the dropper. Okay, what if we press this? Right, so we're just activating it and then it should ride along in through here and end up down here again. So that's just a loop. That didn't do anything, did it? Let's, let's run through the loop one more time and see if it, it increases the strength of this redstone signal. Because that could be it. And that runs down there, and then we'll make a basket, right? Nice. Nothing. Okay. That, no. Okay. What if I step on this? Does this do anything? Nope. Okay. What's in here? Prismarine shards. And prismarine crystals. I have a feeling those are not going to help at all. But we'll see. Because, cause, I mean, I can make prismarine blocks. But I don't want to do that. Because I don't know if I'm going to need these later. So we're not going to do that. We can't make the prismarine glowstone. Because, uh, or the underwater, whatever they want to call it. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's break this. Oh, hey. Are you kidding me? So this whole contraption was for nothing. Really? Really? Okay, moving on to the next room, I guess. Bone meal, stone axe, oak sapling. Okay, so you know what this reminds me of? Uh, the dispenser back there that we saw. Oak wood for a lever. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing that we just need to get one piece of oak wood. Let's hope this works out well. Hopefully it doesn't miss out the drop like it did uh, for the quartz block. So we'll apply this guy and then we'll... Oh. But no, we don't want sponge in there. Sponge is a mine. Grow! Yay! Okay. Okay, so we got our oak wood. Should we grab more? Can we grab more? Oh, we can. Okay. Nice. So now we have our oak wood. Now let's go trade with that guy. Jeez. Here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and... Huh. Sandstone for an iron pick that can break bricks. Cool. Let me just do that though. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this puzzle. So it looks like there's a pressure plate behind here. Pressure plate there. And I don't know 
if there's things in the dispenser, if we have to add things to a dispenser somehow. I guess let's go ahead and press this pressure plate and see what happens. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then that released the water, I guess. Over there. No, that one's not going to make it. Yeah, that one will. Nice. That was easy. Okay, uh, this is telling us to spin. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I got a feeling this is not what they wanted. I think they added in 1.8. I think it's a 1.8 thing where you can change the directions of signs by right-clicking after they're made. Yeah. Okay, so wait. Okay, so that one now says don't spin. There we go. Nailed it. Okay, and then... I don't have anything that can break this though, right? Oh, maybe there's something up here. Seems like there would be. Sandstone, nice. Uh, this is a problem. I think it's supposed to be giving us sandstone. Because remember that guy is the trade for sandstone. Right? Yeah, and the, remember the sandstone trades for a pickaxe that can break bricks, I think I saw. Right? Let me go check him. And make sure that we're not missing something. Wait, did I run past him? Yeah, I did. Okay. What other trades do you have? Okay, those seem like pretty normal trades. I need a lot of coal. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm supposed to get that sandstone. So give me a second. All right, and there we go. I went ahead and gave myself the sandstone that I think we were supposed to get. And then we can break those bricks now. Sweet, we got a lever that we can place in the block of diamond now. Where is that? Oh, it's up here. Hup, hup. Nice. Okay, looks like we have our slime block. And a button, so we're going to... Press that button, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it looks like we bounced. Now, if you don't know, slime blocks, you can press shift to stop bouncing, but you'll take the fall damage if you're still, like, bouncing too much. Okay, wait, let's push it. Oh, okay. So we got we to gotta push that way, but I don't know which way, that, which way that way is. Maybe if we just face that way. Press the button again. Uh, ow. I almost died there. Okay, so now we have our, our lever, I guess. I remember, like, what I said. You take damage if you shift. And I didn't shift on that one there. That was really weird that I took that much damage. Ow, see? Boom. Okay. So this one is a... Is, is a I'm guessing, obviously. Uh, this one is one of those puzzles where when you press the pressure plate, uh, one turns on, one turns off. Or not one turns on, one turns off. Uh, the two to the side, like, if it's on, it turns off. And if it's off, it turns on. So, like, if I step here, there, now both of those are on. Do you see? And so my guess would be I need to step here. And then here. And then here. See, and now we have under eyes all the way around. And boom, doors open. Okay. I guess we're going to play with some redstone. What if we... Okay. What if? What, what happens if I do this one? Oh, wait. What if I... Uh... Okay, so that doesn't do anything. What if I do this one? Okay, so that we can retract that one and then... Okay, so now that block's out of the way. Nice. Now let's see. Okay, so after looking at it for a while, I think it's because watch if I if I flip this, ready? Okay, 
this guy gets pushed out, but then this guy gets pulled back in. And what we need this to do is we need this this piston to pull this guy this way so that it runs power here. And then it see how it loops back there. Oh, wait, there's a sign. Find the golden pressure plate. Okay, I don't think that pertains to us right now. Uh, okay, so so you, we need to see, and then we need the redstone block to power this, and then put power from behind so that we can walk through. Now, I think this takes advantage of, of one of the things that not many people know about, which is like uh, where torches burn out if you activate them too fast. So why don't we go ahead and try to try that out? I guess, right? So so watch if we if you if you listen closely, I'll be quiet. Uh, you'll hear like the sound of like lava being put out, almost like when you put lava on water. I mean, water on lava. Um, yeah, so so listen for that at a certain point. Ready? Hear it? It burned out. But I don't think we did it right. Okay, that time I think we did it right. Oh! Looks like I gotta be a little bit faster on it. Okay, so it, it needs to be left in the up position though, right? Okay, so like two tries after I went to go away. Uh, That's pretty awesome. Uh, find the golden pressure plate. If I had to guess, yep, we need to search the map. Now, this is this is to show, obviously, uh, their skills, skills with all their uh, blocks and stuff, which is honestly very, very impressive, uh, the amount of work that goes into this kind of thing. Um, you know, uh, the amount of commands and all that. Oh, am I stuck? I am stuck. Are you kidding me? Okay, unstuck, undead. I mean, I mean, I died, but it's okay. Uh, let's take the above path, I guess, this time, if we can get up there. Because um, I think that's going to be the way to go, because then we can spot anything. And if the golden pressure plate is under, then we'll know it's under. Because we checked both sides. We'll check both sides and the top at the same time. See, like, we would see the pressure plate here. So we know this whole saw side is uh, crossed off. Let's go ahead and check this side. There's our stuff, which I uh, I want to go grab, but I don't think it's worth it. Ah, uh, maybe it is. So I'll grab it. There we go. Oh, I got an achievement. Okay, so I'll jump back up. Okay, so we seem to be running into a lot of invisible walls out here, or barriers. So, remember we gotta keep our eye open for the golden pressure plate. It could be like within here too, I guess. That's pretty cool looking. I don't know what it does, but it's pretty cool looking. Can I walk through here? Cool. Oh, that's that door that got duped in, remember? So like that, it had the um, the light switch instead, the switch on there instead of not having one. Hmm. I'm not seeing a golden pressure plate yet. I'm guessing that's the area if you spawn in, like it hit, you hit it and then you go to the spawn room. That, that, that was that like loud noise that we heard. Okay, there's a lot of blocks here barriers so i just gotta keep pushing through what is this oh there's our golden pressure plate okay let's jump out don't die please there we go thanks for playing oh did we really reach the end oh, you win here's the two rewards from the previous maps oh we got ice and glass this time oh
Awesome. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, I don't know about recommending this map. I did run into uh, a lot of problems with the whole uh, not getting the quartz block that I wanted uh, or that I needed to get through the map. Um, so I don't know that I would recommend this for a download, but it's just a cool map nonetheless. Uh, have a great day, you guys.